Well, it's about time that I finally did an update to uh, my carp cheater. So I've had uh, the carp cheater now for three months, almost to the day. Excuse some background noise people going by. Um, like I said, about three months to the day. Uh, after getting it all installed and set up and um, with the help of Joe and Luke actually working through some stuff that wasn't even technically carb cheater related, but um, was affecting performance of my car. Um, you know, and I wasn't sure if it had to do with tuning or whatever. And that's that's where ultimately led me, led me down the road to get a carb cheater. Um, with that said, once I had it set up and we uh, fixed a little couple issues with timing um, and uh, even with Luke's um, help with telling me to uh, change out the pump cam on my carb. So we've got that switched out. Um, it's super peppy now um, to the point where I, I forget I have the carb cheater. I don't open the app. I, I just kind of what um, Luke originally said, like it's like I've said it, forget it. Um, even today, thinking about doing this video, I decided to uh, just take it out and drive with auto tune off and it felt fine to me. Like I'm watching all everything, everything looked great. Um, I still turn on the auto tune because I do like the features, the extra stuff that it brings. But um, this is going to be a recap. What it's like after three months, uh, if I had any issues, how the car running, uh, I'll take it out, do a drive, I'll throw a couple cameras places um, and show a little bit of the inside where I got this bad boy installed. So I think we'll start there and um, let's check it out. All right, so now back in front of the car. And as you can tell, it's fall. It's actually a week from Halloween and all the leaves uh, decided to fall today uh, to the point where I can't even keep them off the car long enough to make this video. I'm finding leaves, you know, all in the seats and everywhere else because of course, why not? But that's fine. I'll clean it up before I park it. Um, let's pop open this hood. And I'll show you what I got going on. Um, considering I ain't been here in a while, it's still pretty clean besides the leaves that are just now falling in. But with that said, so I did film a three hour plus or just three hour install video. I wanted it to be realistic. I'll link it down below in the description, but the, the whole point of it was to show what it was like beginning to end. I, I went through everything. I didn't cut any time. I just wanted to see what it was exactly like. Um, and that's where it's been. I haven't done anything since that day besides update the app on my phone. Um, so you see where my wires are going to my coil. I ran everything inside here. Even my extra wires are hidden inside in case I want to use them. There's the carb cheater itself. I got it installed right there on the wheel well. Um, my map is back here, as you can see, nicely installed. And um, my O2 is running down the driver's side. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Um, see just how and I, I do get questions on it because I do take this to car shows and whatnot. Um, I do like to show it off. I do have my logo right dead center and I got one in the back too. Just to make sure every, everybody's aware of uh, what I got going on in this. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get this bad boy fired up. Uh, I'll film that and throw it in there because uh, I started this morning. I went and got gas but it's been sitting out here for a little while even though it is oddly nice today uh so we'll get this hood closed before it fills up with leaves and um let's get it fired up and let's go for a ride check it out all right got the camera moved let's fire it up there's the leaves everywhere
not going to rope the windows because it's going to be super loud and I'm not going to be able to talk. Uh, of course, it'll be nice and toasty in here too. So, as you can see, um, right now I got auto tune on. My uh, vacuum is sitting really nice right now, 11 to 12. That's what my cam does. Uh, 11 to 12. It does 9 to 12 is what's rated for uh, inches of mercury on vacuum, and it's it's right where it's supposed to be. Um, I have this set to maintain AFR uh, when I'm on auto tune, and uh, as you see right now, it's sitting. Uh, I got it set to 13.5. It's running at 13.34. Like it's it's sitting perfect. So. What we're gonna go do is go ahead and take it out and do a run. And uh, I might have to leave the windows down. We're just gonna see how it goes. Uh, got a little GoPro on the side. We're just gonna we're just gonna belt up and go out for a run. Let's see how this bad boy goes. Let's see, I can put my phone up here so I can keep an eye on it while it does its recording. And, uh, matter of fact, I'm gonna go ahead. Actually, I'm gonna wait on the data log. I'm gonna wait until we hit a nice um, a nice stretch where I can maintain speed. Um, I have a wheel chalk under it, so that's helping. Oh, Fixed. Fixed. All right. GoPro back down. I don't know how that's gonna work because it wouldn't pull up my phone so I can see the preview. So we're just gonna have to hope it's pointed in some direction that makes sense. Um, so like I said, a little bit about this car. It's a 1973 Newport Custom. The engine, uh, the engine been completely tore down, rebuilt. Uh, transmission was rebuilt, and uh, I threw in new gears, uh, 355 gears with the Posi in the rear end. Uh, it's a 400 big block. Uh, it's overboard, 20 over, which is actually factory over. It was actually clean. Um, it's a cam from uh, Hughes Engines, uh, Whiplash. Uh, it's made to give these low compression engines uh, a bunch of uh, uh, compression. And uh, I mean, you can just hear what it sounds like, obviously, in my, my startup video. Um, but she runs good. So I, obviously, I'm keeping a side eye on my. Uh, carb treater over here we're gonna hit a nice spot where I can do a nice get up to like 50 that's when I'll start my data log I'll share that I'll put it down in the description as well but uh, for right now we're just gonna do a run I think that camera should be seeing everything okay uh, left to sit for a little bit so I'm just up to temperature sitting about 180 I'm sitting at 40 pounds of uh, oil pressure right now too so that's good and the card sheeter is looking pretty solid. It's maintaining that 13.5, like dead on, as you can see. 
questions. Like I said, I had a lot of people ask me how's it going. Uh, really, I've posted a lot since then. Uh, I have in the Facebook group because I posted uh, when I go to car shows and stuff. I got people always asking me, so I was handing out information about the carpet cheater. I thought it was really cool to show it off. I love showing old, uh, you know, new tech in a old car. I love it. So uh, we'll see how much the rest of this little trip I keep in. I'm gonna go up, like I said. Thanks again, Luke and Joe.